Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipnewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a dramatic title intro in LumaFusion. I think it's pretty cool. So let me just be honest with you and, and be upfront. I think I'm a little addicted to YouTube. I watch YouTube, it seems like nonstop. I always have it playing in the background when I'm working and when I'm home, I'm watching videos. It's, it's really insane exactly how much YouTube I consume. I watch more YouTube than I watch uh, traditional TV. It's, it's crazy. The thing is when you get to watch other people's videos, you see things that they've done and created and that gives you great ideas to put inside of your videos. Now, a lot of times people are using editing softwares that you know they can just drop that particular effect directly onto a title. But with LumaFusion, uh, we just have to make a few different tweaks to get that exact same look. But it's, it's very doable. There's a lot that you can do in LumaFusion and there's always a way to figure something out, to learn how to do something and get it to look just like all of the other softwares that people are paying a good deal of money every single month to use. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. And bear in mind, when I teach you guys how to do this dramatic title intro, it, there is going to be a little bit of keyframing involved. So what I suggest to you is that you save this in your file manager or your project manager as its own little designated film. This way, anytime that you want to go in and create a new title, you don't have to start from scratch. You have the template right there. Then you export that into your cloud as a LumaFusion project. And anytime that you want to tweak the title, make it a different title, you're able to bring it back in and do exactly that. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Once you've launched LumaFusion, we're just going to drop a main title onto the timeline. We're going to do that by hitting the plus in the circle and choose main title. So we're going to drag this out probably to about 12 seconds around there. That looks good. Depending on how long your title is, you might have to choose a different timeline. But listen, don't drag it out to like 30 seconds because that would just be incredibly boring and you're going to lose your audience very quickly. I think 12 is just the perfect right amount of time. So let's go ahead and edit that by hitting the pencil by the piece of paper. I don't know. I really should probably learn the names of the different icons, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna put cap locks on. And when you're typing this out, make sure to double space your lettering. So I am going to put main. Now, once you hit space and you wanna double space that, you just have to pause a second because if you hit the space bar quickly, LumaFusion will add the period in there. So you just want to hit the space, then pause a second, then hit it again main title. That looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the keyboard away. And this is going to be our main starting point. So from here, we need to begin to make choices and just look at this main title intro as it is. Do you want to dial back the opacity while you're here? I think that having it at 100% it's a little too jarring. So I am going to pull this down to about, I would say the high 70s looks really good to me. So now what we want to do is go over to frame and fit. And we are going to first go to cropping. Hit your leftmost arrow key. We want to make sure that we're all the way to the very beginning. So what we want to do right off the bat is dial back the right screen. Pull it all the way back to the very end right there. And let's drop our first keyframe. I also want to dial back the edge softness a little bit. And I have fooled around with this and I found that the mid 20s seems to work best with that. So what we wanna do is knowing that we've made this to about 12 seconds, we know that we want to have this come into focus the entire thing at about five seconds because you want your title to be absolutely visible for about a second and a half to two seconds. So what we want to do right here is reveal the whole title. So we are going to pull back the right 
all the way back to the end here, and that's going to drop its own keyframe. Then we are going to go forward at least a second and a half. That looks good right about there. We are going to drop another keyframe to lock that right there. And then we're going to go all the way to the end by hitting the rightmost arrow key. And now we are going to follow that by pulling down the left slider all the way to the end. Okay, so let's drop out of here and see how it looks so far. That's perfect. That's exactly the look that I'm looking for. But the little bit of extra pizzazz is going to be added in there when we add an element of the color and effect. So let's go ahead and go to the raindrop. I, once again, I'm sorry, my bad. I don't know the exact names of these icons. So let's go to Gaussian Blur. Make sure we're all the way to the very beginning. And what we wanna do, I, I choose Gaussian 80. I think that's good. They do have other options here. So if you think it's too blurry, you can dial it down to 40 or 20. And they also go up to 100 if that interests you. And of course, you can also control that by the slider here. So let's go ahead and drop our very first keyframe at zero seconds. So now we know that at five seconds is right about where everything comes. Well, you know what? Let me just go and look back at cropping. So 5.05, .05, so let's go back to Gaussian Blur. 5.05, .05, we are going to pull this all the way down to, now once again, this is going to be according to your taste because I leave it still a little fuzzy blurry. So I leave it at a two. You can pull it all the way down to zero and have it completely sharp and in focus or go up to one so it's a little hazy. But I think two looks good, so I am going to leave it there. And once again, we left it alone for about a second and a half, but let's go back to frame and fit cropping just to see. 6.13, so let's go back to color and effects. 6.13, so let's go ahead and drop another keyframe right there. And now we are going to go all the way to the end by hitting the rightmost arrow key and we are gonna pull that Gaussian blur all the way up to 80. Okay, so let's have a look at the finished product. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And like I said, depending on what your title is, Let's say that you have something that's a shorter title. You don't want to use three words. You only want to use two words. You can always go in and make that font larger, or instead of double spacing the letters, you can always triple space out your letters as well. Now, being that we did invest a little bit of time with this, I think it would be prudent to save this as a project, a finished project. So let's go ahead and export this to the cloud. I am going to choose LumaFusion Project Package, and I am going to send this to files, and all of that looks great. I am going to hit the share button one last time, and I am going to put title, drama, dramatic, I guess, dramatic, one. Save it to my gear channel, and there you go. Anytime that I want to reuse that title, I'll just bring it right on in. So anytime I'm making a title that has a lot of keyframing involved, I always save that as a project package. This way I can always go into my cloud, bring it back into LumaFusion, edit that title or whatever it is that I'm working on, and you do it once, you save it, and then you're done. You're never going to have to do it again. The only thing that you're going to have to change, obviously, is going to be the words, whatever the title is that you want. Okay, well, that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, wear your sunblock.